What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. Just a quick one today because we are going to be looking at the two new boosters, Sakai and Ono. Oh no, 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 no. CMF and right back, right? This guy is a beast. I'm going to say something right here, right now. This guy is going to be a monster, an absolute monster. I've left my webcam off because I want to show you with the max boosters. But this guy is arguably, I saw somebody in my Discord earlier say that he's better than Mycon, who they released as an Inter Milan legend last week. And I would have to agree, man, this guy is insane. The only thing he's missing really off his base is uh, Blocker, if you're having him as a defensive fullback, which you can do because he's got 79 aggression and 84 defensive engagement straight off the rip. Now, we're actually going to go and have a look at his build here and the build that I would probably put onto him. But other than that, man, he's got an insane card. He's an attacking fullback. He's got the booster, which is going to add speed, acceleration, balance, and stamina. And of course, you've also got that one-touch pass, as I mentioned. But then on top of that, lads, you've got weighted pass, pinpoint cross, and a long throw attacking. And then defensively, you've got man marking, interception, sliding, tackle, and fighting spirit. So what I would say is, if you are using him as an attack and right back, I think that's probably best. Even though he's got defensively good stats, we'll show you two builds of him. I do feel like this guy is going to be your main attacking option going forward. The one issue I have with him, even though he's down as an attacking fullback, is that lack of attacking awareness. And we're going to get into that in a second, which is why I think building him up is going to be better for a defensively minded right back, but somebody that you can also get forward with having that defensive capabilities at the back, right? So we're going to go over here to eFootball DB. Right, so the first build we have is an attacking build. We've put one into defending, but we've put the rest into passing, dribbling, dexterity, and lower body, right? So because we're going to be getting a plus six boost, we're going to be getting the plus four booster um, and the two manager boost, which you should be getting by now with any of the top managers, we only need to raise up his speed, acceleration and balance and stamina to around the 83, 84 mark. That's going to give us 90 speed and acceleration, 89 balance and 91 stamina. So that's more than enough for getting up and down the line, which is all you want this guy to be doing, really. And then also on top of that, we've got ball control. We've got low pass and lofted pass that are very, very nice, right? Now, I would say that this card is kind of very favored towards defensive stats, even though he's down as an attack and full back. So like with Mycon, right? Last week, we had Mycon from Inter Milan. It's kind of a waste to build him up as a defensive option. And I think it's a waste to build this guy up not as a defensive option. So it's kind of the opposite, right? If you are looking to get your best bang for your buck with this card, because look at this standard that you're setting with this right back here, right? Yes, with the defensive build, we are going to be pumping 13 into defending, but that is going to give us pretty much maxed out defensive engagement, aggression and tackling are going to be over 90, and then we're going to have a defensive awareness at 87. On top of that, we're still going to have speed and acceleration around the 85, 86 mark, balance and stamina around the same, and then our ball control, dribbling type possession, low pass and lofted pass are going to be kind of mid uh, when we actually boost them up that. So it's 7 into passing, 8 into dexterity, 6 into dribbling, 5 into lower body, and 13 into defending. But you can mix and match this, lads. If you feel like that defensively is too aggressive and you don't want it to be that high i mean you genuinely could take it down to nine and have aggression at 90 and then you could decide right well i actually want a little bit of more speed going forward or i want better passing you could pop that as a training guide as well that's going to give you 92 acceleration 91 balance you can mix and match this guy incredibly well he's a very 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 versatile player so i'm very Kind of intrigued to see if people actually get him and play him above other right backs. For me personally, I like playing Wamba Saka back there, or else I would like to play kind of like Tommy Yasu or somebody like that, Kunde. Um, I think I've started to play Limer from the free pack there as well. So it is an interesting one. But that booster is very interesting for that right back. And even though he's down as an attack and fullback, I would say that if you're able to give him a couple of more player skills on that. Going forward, if you're building the attack and build or the defensive build, the defensive build, you definitely need blocker. For the attack and build, you can kind of pick what you want, really. Low lofted pass. Um, you could do chop turn, anything depending on your play style. But a 3-5-2 with this guy defensively would be insane because he'd just be able to mop up everything and really just kind of limit your uh, opponent's options out wide, right? We also have Ono here. So this guy, again, he's not as, he's not as hard to build up because he's just your standard orchestrator. 
he's going to get a boost to ball control dribble and tight possession and low pass so we've seen Messi have this technique plus two and a couple of other players have this he's got some excellent player skills he reminds me of Naga Nakata um, who was released a while, a while ago or like a long time ago that I used to love double touch soul control one touch pass true pass and way to pass outside curler and that all important for an orchestrator or a creative playmaker low lofted pass that's going to be big so I do like this card apart from his acceleration that's the big thing here I would say that the only position to play this guy with the 32 levels that he has there as an orchestrator the only way to play him realistically for me is to not really wor worry too much about his um his speed and his acceleration or anything like that once you have it at kind of like a fairly nice level we'll show you the build in a second this guy is going to be all about just kind of creating right so we'll show you the build that we've gone for here you can't really do a defensive build or an attacking build it's just one build so i would say that i would be putting him in as a kind of an attacking midfielder where you don't need to depend on speed or pace if you are playing a player in an attacking midfield position you don't need that high speed. Speed is only important really for the positions that you're going to be running different areas of the pitch and stop start. Acceleration is what controls it when you have the ball at your feet. So I would say with Ono here, I'm going to just make him kind of like an all-rounder basically. That's kind of where I'm going to go with him. I don't need speed and stamina too much because he's just going to be picking up little pockets of space. But yeah, it's a disappointing card, lads. I feel like he's not even worth spinning for personally speaking. I don't think he's anything to shout home about at all. Um, I'm sure some people will like him. Him, but yeah he's not for me he would not be for me he just doesn't serve any purpose in that game in that squad the next of the players here we're not going to focus too much on them there's a couple of nice guys in here with 40 levels this guy's got a fairly decent uh speed um but he's got inconsistent form he's got some nice player skills we also have this center back who's down as a build-up he's got 31 levels unwavering form blocker heading acrobatic so there are a couple of packs in here but for me this is a big this is a big no for me. Sakai is brilliant, yes, but you can buy Wamba Saka and have a very similar defensive build, or else you could buy somebody, you know, we got the free Limar, he can do the job as well. Um, any right back that you have going forward, you know, defensively um, is a separate thing, but going forward, attacking wise, I don't think he's that great because you can get, you know, players that are better than him in those positions. Even though Sakai will be meta, if you train him the way that I said there, he will be a beast. But I don't know if it's worth taking a chance of 99 other players in this draw. So, yeah, he would be an addition if you've got the coins. But for me, I'd hold fast, lads. I would not buy him. Um, I just feel like he's not worth getting, to be honest with you. So let me know what you guys think. I will be back soon. Um, I know people will say, yeah, look at his stats. He's a beast. He is a beast. But are you going to take the gamble of risking it with 100 players in this pack? And this is where the issue comes with players that you might like to try out. You're going to have to get through a lot of these guys before you get him. Now, if you were to spin here and just do one or two spins and get him for 200 coins or even 1,000 coins or even 2,000 coins, he might be worth it for you. But I just feel like that there's so many other players going to be coming. We know what's going to be coming Monday kind of as well. I'll have a video up on that. And uh, yeah, that is it for me, lads. Don't forget to subscribe. We will be streaming all weekend. So don't forget to check it out. And I'll talk to you in a bit.